Greetings and salutations. I'm the artificial maple flavoring of your syrup, Just a Ghost, and welcome to Shocking Theater Lightning, where we take a complete movie, speed it up until it's only a few minutes long, and then tell you about it so you can say you saw the entire movie during your smoke break. Tonight's feature takes place at an all-girls reform school and revolves around some sort of monster killing the girls and some not-so-innocent bystanders who sneak outside the walls for some hanky-panky. It's an Italian film originally called Lycanthropus, but it's also known as The Ghoul in the Girls Dormitory, The Ghoul in School, I Married a Werewolf, Monster Among the Girls, and Werewolf in a Girls Dormitory. It was made in 1962, directed by Paolo He... I am not going to pronounce that because I will butcher it. Dubbed by MGM and released on a double bill with Corridors of Blood, starring Boris Karloff. Please enjoy Werewolf in a Girls Dormitory, here on Shocking Theater Lightning. Okay, here's what happened. Mary faints as Julian Alcott arrives. He has been hired as a new science teacher. He has a mysterious past. Mary sneaks out for a rendezvous with Sir Alfred. She is blackmailing him with letters. He refuses to free her from the school, and he returns to his home. She is mauled by a wild animal and dies. Priscilla thinks it may be murder and investigates. She finds Mary's letters and intends to confront Sir Alfred. She finds Sir Alfred's wife, Sheena, instead. Priscilla returns to the school, and Sheena is killed by the same animal that killed Mary. Villagers begin to think it's a monster, and that that monster is the caretaker. 
Priscilla thinks it's Julian. It appears that Julian had an affair with a patient who suffered from lycanthropy and she died while he attempted to cure her. The headmaster, Director Swift, implies that Julian himself may be a werewolf. Sir Alfred has Walter retrieve the letters, but Walter is shot because they thought he was attempting to rape the girls. Priscilla begins to think differently about Julian. Julian and Priscilla confront Sir Alfred about Mary, and he commits suicide rather than face a scandal. It turns out that Director Swift is the werewolf, and he hired Julian to help him find a cure. Swift's assistant slash lover Lenore is killed by Walter's dog and is buried in Walter's place. Priscilla finds Walter's body and goes to Swift for help. Swift changes, Swift changes, attempts to kill Priscilla, and she is saved by Julian who shoots the werewolf, and it reverts back into Swift, and they all live happily ever after the end. You know, this kind of reminds me of the time I spent in an all-girls reform school. Except for less werewolves, and the only howling came from me as I looked at them. Boy, were they lookers. <laughs> Why they hired me as the guidance counselor, though, I shall never know. I'll see you again soon with another movie in Shocking Theater Lightning. Until then, take scare, good fright, and pleasant screams. Thank <laughs> you.